Hello Leo, hope you're all doing well. Thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes and welcome to the channel. We have self-acceptance. This is about loving yourself the way spirit loves you. You're the best version you could possibly be. Spirit and angels know that. Oops, a daisy. I'm just going to get that. Just let me get it. Excuse me. Abundance. So we're in a beautiful place of self-acceptance and loving ourselves. We bring in a lot of abundance. We bring more of that to our lives. So people will appreciate us, love us, if we're loving and appreciating ourselves. There's a lot of abundance coming in. A year from now. This is coming out a lot. Goodness me, I don't know if it's because of COVID, but this is coming out a lot. A year from now, there's going to be abundance, noticeable abundance. There's going to be change. So be loving yourself. Be appreciating yourself and others will do the same. It's a law of attraction. Don't be hard on yourself here. Or down on yourself. Absolutely not. It's a wonderful thing, self-acceptance. Two of Wands. The Justice card. The Queen of Wands. The Six of Swords. The central energy is the Moon card. The High Priestess, the Five of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Five of Cups. Now we've got two fives on the table here, and fives are changed for me. So we're feeling that we might be feeling left out in the cold here. Uh, we're not understanding what's going on. There might be a type of fear energy here. Um, something's happened here to cause us to feel left out in the cold. Now, this could be in any area of your life. It could be within your work life, your finances, your relationships, or your home life. This is different for everybody. The thing about this is, as you look up here, there's always a refuge. There's always things that can be built on. So don't be focusing on anything you're lacking at the moment. It's definitely not either about focusing on past regrets. So it's about self-accepting. It's about accepting the choices you've made that were best for you here. And not regretting anything, any decisions you've made in the past. We can't refill these cups. Accept where you're at here and look at your blessings. You made these decisions because they were right for you at the time. Okay? So don't be frightened. Um, there's a sort of fear around this energy. Things are going to be revealed to you as life goes on. This is the moon energy coming into the sun. You're going to start to see the way forward here, definitely. If we focus on our, the present rather than the past, and if we look at what we can build on now rather than what we're lacking, you will move forward. Things will start to unravel for you, definitely. That's what's going to bring in the change. Also, always connect in with your intuition. How am I thinking, feeling, or sensing about things? So your gut reaction is always a good guideline. It never lets you down. Your soul voice never lets you down. Your intuition never lets you down. So connect in with yourself here about how you want to go forward. And don't be frightened to be looking at your blessings and look to the future rather than the past. And don't be frightened to look on what you could build on. Connect in with yourself now because this is about going towards your own abundance. What is it that you want to create for yourself? What's going to bring abundance to your life? What is it that you're wanting? So we want to be connecting into ourselves when we're making the choice about what path we're now going to go down. So connecting in, like I say, deciding what we're passionate about, accepting that the decisions we've made were made for our higher good here. We're leaving behind. We're not going to be disappointed in ourselves or we're not focusing on a place of lack. We're going to build on what we've got now and we're going to decide how we want to go forward to create something and grow our world here. Now, he's got the wee world in his hands there, and he's, it's up to you what path you go down. When you're doing things you enjoy and you're passionate about, you will only grow and flourish. And this is creative energy. It's about creating things for yourself here. And it's about focusing on that five of pentacles. And it's about focusing on the two standing cups and deciding what it is now you're going to create and go forward towards. Now, this there'll be movement. You'll definitely get movement. This is a chariot. You'll move forward very quickly when you decide what it is that you want for yourself. Accept what's going on in the past. You are good enough. You deserve better. You deserve the best here. And you will, when you understand that and you choose what's right for you, you will start to move forward very quickly. Now, there's no reins on this chariot. It's a very well-balanced forward motion because 
it doesn't matter what we're doing here, we know where we need to be going and we're going forward with that. And what happens is we move from the choppy waters into calmer waters. So we're moving away from the disappointments, this five energy, we're moving away from a place of lack, we're focusing on what we want to create here in order to bring in our abundance and we're starting to go forward because we're using our intuition, we're connecting in with ourselves about what we would like to create and we're mentally starting to see the way forward towards abundance. Now, this Queen of Wands is someone who's very passionate. She's somebody who, when she chooses her path to go down, it's something she can put her heart and soul into. So this could be a project that you're setting up. It could be a new idea for a business that you have. It could be you're appearing very attractive and passionate about what you're doing. Um, and she can only flourish. You can only grow. You can see the sunflower in the background. It's beautiful. Now, this is karmic justice is involved in this. And karmic justice comes in to move you towards abundance when you're prepared to go down the path that is good for you and leave behind everything that isn't. So focusing on the positive things, focusing on your blessings, um, looking at what you can build, going towards abundant type energies and coming away from a place of lack. The universe will help you. Things will start to fall into place for you. Okay, definitely things going in your favour here. Now, this could also be somebody that you find attractive or find you attractive. Uh, this could be one's energy is Aerial Leas or Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be but a very passionate person that you find attractive. Um, and you might be choosing to go towards down a path uh, and moving towards a relationship or moving towards this attractive romantic relationship or attractive friend or business partner. It could be anybody, whatever it is for you. And this is going to move you away from your disappointments in the past and it's going to move you away from the place of lack. So you could be going towards romantic relationships, new friendships, new business partnerships, whatever it may be for you. The universe will help you. These people will appear. And whatever you're investing in here and whoever you're investing with is going to be bringing you a lot of abundance. So it's going to be very, very beneficial for you in the long term. So in a year from now, you're going to have grown these pentacles and you're going to be looking at your cups and counting your blessings and adding to them. And you're going to be going down this path of creating your brand new world for yourself. So it's time to look at yourself here. It's time to do what's right for you, Leo, and go down the path that makes you happy. And spirit will support you in your journey. There's abundance at the end of this road. Nature. Reconnect with nature. Feel the sun on your skin and walk barefoot in the grass. Take time out. Move. Get up and get active. Try gentle exercises, yoga, tai chi or pilates. It's about doing things you enjoy here. We'll take one more. Heal. Heal. You have a natural gift for healing through your hands, words or actions. Or this could be you healing from past experiences. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.